cries a lot. That's his signature sound. You'll be sitting on the couch and you just will go and stand at your face and start really softly whining until you lift the blanket up so that he can like hop under your legs and just make you as uncomfortable as possible. He just has so many feelings and he doesn't know how to keep them to himself. Like it's just constant feelings all the time. He's such a big boy but he's so sensitive and we kind of joke that he wouldn't last sort of five minutes in the wild. Dogs in this industry tend to just disappear. They're just there to serve a purpose, and when that purpose finishes, that's it. I got a phone call at work saying, you know, Kim, we've got, we've got a dog. <laughs> and two days later, I was picking this dog up. My first memory of him was, my God, he's massive. At that point, I was just like, what have I done? He didn't know how to walk upstairs. He was petrified on the leash. I went to take him for a walk in those first couple of days and he literally just froze. Come on, let's go. The first time I really saw it was when he was on the couch and I was just sitting next to him and he just sat up and he looked at me and he barked. And he's got quite a decent bark. So it kind of shocked me a little bit. And then he flew off the couch and started running around the house and I realised he was telling me I'm ready to play. That's when he really started to kind of settle in. I had the intention of fostering him for a little while but I fell in love pretty quickly so <laughs> I think it was fate. He's such a goof and he, people laugh at him a lot because he's just so dopey. I mean, I wouldn't go as far to say that he's the smartest dog I've met, but if it comes to getting what he wants, he's a genius. He taught me not to take life too seriously. Sometimes, you know, when you're having a bit of a rough day or things are really, really busy, just having him there being such a dork or just sticking his face into your face for a bit of attention that he demands in that moment is so lovely. We kind of say that the best thing that happened to him was that he broke his leg. Ultimately, that got him out of the industry and it got him on our couch, which is where he belongs.